Yeah. Building a superconductor 10 times faster than the fastest to date. Imagine electron flow of 10,000 centimeters squared per volt second. I can't. I have no clue what that means other than it's 10 times faster than it used to be. LiveScience.com reports a study published in the materials today. Physics says that physicists have created an extremely thin crystalline material called ternary tetradimite. And by thin, I mean 100 nanometers, like 1,000th the width of a human hair. They did this by using beams of molecules to build the material one atom at a time. Super fast electron transfer means super conductivity, and this translates to much more efficient and faster devices. Think about super fast charging for EVs. Think longer ranges for EVs and longer operation times for anything electric as efficiencies are much greater. Couple this with hard work and collaboration of companies like Volkswagen and PowerCo, as reported in Electrive.com, and you can see dramatic steps forward in what is not a very green solution to transportation at this time. The QuantumScape prototype cell, according to CEO PowerCo Frank Bloom, is cutting-edge solid-state battery technology they've been working on for years, boosting power, range, and improving charging times by 80% in 15 minutes are all great improvements, along with the elimination of spontaneous combustion threats of the liquid cell variety. These are all great things to work towards, support, and look forward to. However, remember that the source of that electric power is not green, and the grid is not capable of handling the load. Yet. Of course, the technologies are years away, as these are the best successful precursors to even a beta solution. Thank goodness there's cyber fuels. You can use it today and reduce your emissions by an average of 23% and reduce your net fleet fuel spend a minimum of 10%. Guaranteed. <laughs>